This is my uh, Humane Letters final, December 2016. So I'm going to be talking about how in both literature and historical accounts, people are judged based on their appearance, and the profiling will create hostility. Taking a step away from this discrimination, the outward, the outwardly different parties are able to coexist and even work together. I will be using the books Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, um, Of Plymouth P Plantation by William Bradford, and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. So, in Gulliver's Travels, Gulliver travels to the land of Lilliput, and he is greeted with hostility for his immense difference between him and the people there. He's much larger than them, and they view him as a threat. In Of Plymouth Plantation, upon landing in the land we now call America, the Puritans um, were hostile against the Native Americans there. Um, they viewed them as savages, as beasts, um, primarily because of their lack of similarities between the two cultures and the color of their skin. And in the book Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster um, walks into a town, and because of his size and his horrendousness, people throw stones at him and make him leave. Um, in all three of these instances, you see hostility based on discrimination, people having the knee-jerk reaction of, you're different, I can't have you near me. But later in Gulliver's travels, he gets along quite well with the Lilliputians, helping them in their military um, adventures and so forth. Um, the Puritans and the natives are able to make up, giving each other gifts, helping each other to, to grow and to prosper in this new land. And um, in Frankenstein, there is one specific instance where the monster speaks with a blind man very shortly, De Lacey, in the cottage, and this man does not have any bad feelings towards Frankenstein, this monster, um, and they are able to communicate quite well the way that he could have communicated with the villagers had they not pushed him away. Okay, that's all.